Today I'm going to show you how to make a steel leader so you can have a Y in it and hook two baits onto it and have yourself a spreader rig for northerns and muskies and uh, basically any kind of toothy critter wherever it's legal. Uh, I know this would be legal in Iowa and uh, in the ocean. So anyway, we're going to start out. We've, we've got our leader wire material. I'm going to put the nail set device. Got about 18 inches going one way, 36 inches the other way. Okay, I've got that started there. We're doing the will wire twist on this. I'm going to take that loop and put it up through the and we just give it a few wraps to close that eye up. There we've closed that eye up. Makes very nice Y. We've got one arm going down and we've got the other arm going off to the side that's going to be several feet long. We're going to loop it around I'm going to put it in the back in the vise and we're going to loop it a couple of turns. Now we're going to take our long end and we're going to do the same thing. You can see I've got several feet here. We're going to take the long end, cut it off, and put an eye on it. There we've got our eye on that end and on the other leg we actually have, I've got it coiled up here, but we've actually got about 36 inches on the other end. So what we'll do is we'll take and put our uh, hooks on the end of this. This end will go to the line. The spreader will hold the baits apart. This one will be right up below the 
line to the rod and this one will string out a couple of feet deeper and so it keeps the two apart. This is stiff enough that they're not going to get all tangled up into each other. So there's there's the rig. As it comes through the water it's going to be like so. Okay now I'm, I'm going to put a couple of, of 5 odd hooks on there and I'm just going to use a split ring to do it. An easy way to get a hook on a split ring to start with and make up this rig is just put the just take your knife run it down in between it open up the split ring start your hook on there grab your leader material start your eye on there then release it from the vise and then you can just wrap that right around on there. And there you made that connection. So that, that will swivel just about, that will move just about any direction. There's no swivel to it, but this is going to be real slow fishing. Uh, you're not going to go more than a mile an hour with the electric motor or just drifting. And uh, your bait will be hanging down uh, off the side of the boat or you can have a balloon uh, holding it out away from the boat a little ways. So now we'll do that same thing to the other end to our long end of the rig. So this one this one seems a little tougher so we'll just take the needle nose pliers and put it in there and help us to spin that on like so. There we've got a good connection so the biggest fish there is isn't going to separate that. The beauty, the beauty of this part is here there's no sharp ends by by doing the wrap up here there's no sharp ends or cut off tags uh, to get up on your line like where this end down here I suppose there's a possibility but that's more than likely that's far enough away from the end of your line it's not going to bother anything. So then on this end we'll just have a snap ready to go and we'll just hook that right on to our line up to the pole. So just take and wrap it up like that, hook, hook both of the hooks right into the eye, just wrap it up and put a couple of twist ties on there. Stick it in a Ziploc bag and there you've got a good way to store it. So now I've made, uh, I've got another video on that I showed where I made this smaller quick strike rig. Uh, it's more of an inline type and uh, you can use that style as well but use this just on one bigger fish and just as a single rig. Now here's the kind of hook you want to use. You, you want to use treble hook with a offset barb bend one barb up and you can use whatever size hooks you want. So I hope that helps you. Good luck fishing.